We wish to join council as we rise for our invocation call by the Pledge of Allegiance. Ask our freshman member of council to deliver. We bow our heads. Dear Jesus, oh God, we thank you for bringing us here today on Tuesday to do your work, Jesus. We pray that while we sit up here, God, that you guide our mouths and guide our words and our actions, God, so that we may act in accordance with the city of Hartsville. Thank you for this day, God, and the strength that you've given us all to make it this day. Ask for your protection for our family and your covering of this meeting. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, please be seated. Okay, Chair, I entertain a motion to waive the reading and approve the minutes of January the 8th, 2019, regular city council meeting and January 22nd, 2019, special city council meeting. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. by name. As have it. We have on our agenda a presentation, uh, two presentations tonight. Uh, the first is the annual presentation for Random Acts of Kindness Month. Who's here? Can we see? Oh, who's here? Do you want to come forward? I was expecting to see Mr. Richardson. And yeah. Um, so we wanted to present you with this annual uh, annual recognition, Random Acts of Kindness Month. And I thought uh, maybe if you wanted to take just a moment to kind of describe what that means for the community okay. and what to expect when we give you this. Okay. Well, um, as he said, Random Acts of Kindness Month is just that, for everybody to take the opportunity to display Come on up. A random, right in time. random acts of kindness to someone. I mean, someone who may need help walking up the step or someone, you know, uh, the other day I was in the store and a lady didn't have enough money and I just handed her enough money to finish her, um, her shopping. And what I know is it comes back more than twofold. Okay. And thank you so much. Thank you all for coming. Good to okay. see you all again. Okay. All so right. don't forget, practice random acts of kindness all month. Okay. Sorry, we're late. That's a good <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Good to see you. Oops. Mr. Richardson, I saw you had a nice write up in the paper this week. Thank you for your service over time. Okay, um, the next is our uh, annual financial report. Joan? Thank you, Mayor, members of Cap. I provided each one of y'all uh, the annual audit report and uh, executive summary. Uh, I'm going to go through the executive summary real quick. Uh, but you'll see in your audit report the city received an unmodified opinion, highest level of opinion that we can give on a set of financial statements. Uh, the executive audit summary put to the first page. Uh, the first A is just an outline of what you'll see in your audit report. Uh, Self-explanatory, you can go through and see how it lays out. Uh, B is the type of funds that the city of Hartsville has. Uh, general funds, special revenue funds, proprietary funds, which are your water, sewer, water park fund, storm water, and uh, they have one fiduciary fund, agency fund, which is the parking and beautification fund. Item C and D. Uh, the first C is an analysis of the financial position of the governmental funds and proprietary funds. Uh, the main focus uh, that we'll focus on here is the general fund and the water and sewer and water park fund. Uh, the total assets uh, for the general fund were 3.5 billion. Total liabilities for the general fund were right over 2 million, which left a fund balance of 1.4 million. Uh, for the water, sewer, and water park fund, the total assets were right at 35 million. Uh, total liabilities were a little over about 17.6 million, which left a net position of a little over 17 million 
both water sewer and water park zone. The breakout of the fund balances for each is uh, located in D. Uh, the general fund of the 1.4 million in fund balance, 49,000 is assigned and an unsigned of 1.3 million. On the water and sewer and water park fund, of the 17.3 million, 15 million is net investment in capital assets and unrestricted of about 2.2 million. Um, if you turn the page, uh, item E is an analysis of the activity, revenues, and expenditures for all the funds. Again, the main focus would be of the general fund and the water sewer and water park fund. Um, the general fund had total revenues of just over 10 million. Expenditures of a little over, right at 13 and a half million. And other financing sources of 3.2 million, which was a net change in fund balance of 143,000. Uh, the water sewer and water park fund had 4.4 million operating revenues. Operating expenses of 3.5 million and non-operating income expenses of 354000 and the change in the net position was 863000 <clears throat> Item F is the current year versus the prior year. Um, the general fund saw an increase in revenue from 18 to 17 of about $387,000. And that main increase came from franchise fees and business license. Uh, for the expenditures from 18 to 17 was pretty stable. A, a small, small decrease in expenditures was about 119,000. Um, there is a detail you'll find right here below it for the reason of the decreases. It's, it's a variation of things. You had capital outlay which decreased a lot from the previous year, but you had some other departments that had more expenditures. Um, but the overall net change was 119,000. Um, for the water and sewer park fund, on the next page, the revenues from 18 to 17 increased 523,000, mainly from the water park fund, um, which you didn't have in 17. Uh, 18 to 17, the expenses also increased 478,000, also related to the water park fund. Uh, for the reason of that, I know y'all just got the information, y'all just got the audit report, just got the summary, you had a chance to really dig through it. But if y'all have any questions, you know, you feel free to answer anything you can. Uh, the staff did a wonderful job this year. Um, I worked really hard. We were able to get get it done in a tremendous amount of time with it all was going on, funding for the water park, <coughs> uh, finance director, have a baby. Congratulations. Uh, but it was a lot of work. Uh, they, did, they, they put in a lot of hours to help us get through this, and uh, we thank them for that. And uh, it's always, like always, it's a pleasure working with the city. And uh, we, we enjoy what we do with y'all. So. Do you have any questions? Council. Just thank you for doing it. A timely manner. We've had some governmental entities that can't quite seem to get it done on time. So appreciate you doing that. Do you have any recommendations on our fund balance and where it should be? Yes. Recommendation for fund balance is to have about three to four months of unassigned fund balance. Um, and we're at about on the proprietary fund, you're at you're about 4.8 months, so almost five months. So you're in a good good spot on the proprietary fund. General fund is about a month and a half. So we um, have to be careful. So uh, uh, I mean, a little increase would be probably be recommended. Try to keep in the three to four months range. And right now, we're still feeling the effects of when we did all the purchases for the town, which was yeah. in the prior year. A, a large number of that land purchases. Right. So that'd be. Um, Three to four months for the proprietary and three to four months. That's, That's correct. correct. That's correct. But I would I'm excited to see the increase that we did have in that position. Yeah. Um, especially from the year prior when we were I think the expenditures come through. 
Um, and also, with the water park related, those are one-time expenses, right? So with that big job that we see in expenditures, that was opening one-time expenditures that were staying there. Um, it, I would be interested to see next year when we do year over year. Yeah, and if, and if you compare the expenditures in the general fund, if you take out the capital outlay, which is being purchased for this now, the the budget by departments was, was very good by the city. It means that y'all stayed within the very reason of the budget, somewhere over, somewhere under. You know, the overall effect was very small. Um, so the, obviously the big change is the capital outlay that's been purchased, you know, over a couple of years. But overall, it's been pretty good. So. Is there a letter grade that? You can um, say to, to just help understand a little bit more about how are we doing like an A or a B or a well, failing. Our opinion is an unmodified thing, the highest we can get, so I guess it's an A. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, or Nick Plus. Plus. And I would say Terry's not here, but I know, especially with me going out on maternity leave, yeah. she put in yeah, countless Terry's hours very, uh, to get this done. Lot. Right. And she's done an incredible job with the bank reconciliation. I'm so happy with her right yeah. now. Uh, she's done a phenomenal job. So we're on track for an A next year, too? I think so. I think so. Just not extra Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Okay, items on the agenda for the manager. We have a couple of introductions for new hires. I'm going to start with the fire department. Go ahead, Tim. No, let's do first. Come on. Go ahead. Good afternoon. Oh, yeah. I'd like to welcome Ms. Kaylee Etheridge. She's our new fire inspector at Down the Control. You guys look good and white. Doing a great job. Great kudos to her from a lot of businesses downtown already doing inspections. So this is Ms. Kaylee Edwards. Would you like to do a five minute speech now? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say I've been in Hartsville for 21 years now and I've loved this town for all of my years, but being a part of this town has been the greatest blessing ever and it's a pleasure to work with each and every one of you. Thank 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 you. Newest, one of the newest members of our team um, transitioning from volunteer status to a full time Rosie Babowski. He, uh, he's come in working hard, he's eager to learn, <coughs> and couldn't ask for a better. Has an engineering degree, and he tries to put everything with the engineering into the fire side, so everything seems a little bit and gets frustrated, but we're slowly getting better. <coughs> he can calculate friction loss like a chair. That is correct. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Glad to have you. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Steve. That's it. Hey, how are you? This is the uh, newest member of the Streets and Grounds Department, Laquan Johnson. Um, he's actually been <coughs> with us for quite some time, and now he's on full-time status. Oh, wow. Yeah. Anything you want to tell us about yourself? Um, I don't see it so far. Actually, yes, I've been working for like five, seven months before I got hired on. Yeah. And everything's going to be we're glad that you're on full time now. So welcome aboard. Okay, thank you. I just want to announce that Rusty Hill is taking Partially moved to their new location across from the goats. Man. Um, it's at 402 South Leesburg. Everyone knows it as the old Leesburg ball fields. If you haven't driven by yet, it's a great improvement um, to the area. And so they will all be transitioning hopefully within the next week or two. You will have everyone yes. there. Um, so this will be leaving Pool Street down the hill behind Investigations and then Russ's little tiny office that was behind um, what used to be Starksville. The governor's school leaves, and all of that will be moved to a central location. Um, it is a lot nicer than I thought it would be. So I was, I was proud of Russ and his team for putting it all together. Um, 
So with Pool Street moving out, Lieutenant Richardson and Ms. Mack will be moving into Pool Street. Um, as many of you know, um, we'll have some new development going on shortly where they are currently located, which was rent free. So we had to find another space that was also rent free. So we'll be moving into Pool Street just a little bit down from where they are. Currently Temporary. Are. Don't get comfortable down there. <laughs> <laughs> that building is going to come down, hopefully soon. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, also, some of oh, it's going to blow down. Don't worry. Don't worry. I think if we remove the fence, that's what we were just talking about. The fence makes it look worse than it is. If the fence is gone, I think it'll just be perfect. Um, we received a few uh, complaints. Some of you may have as well about the new playground at Barley Park. It is packed. People are loving it. But the, we couldn't afford to do all in with um, rubber mulch. So we, we have. Um, <coughs> Of wood shavings in there. They are ADA technically compliant. Our person who put it in told me not to give it two to three weeks. It'll compact. It'll be perfect. People can do it. But we are moving forward with a quote we received. Hopefully, can be moving forward today um, with putting in a pathway to all of the wheelchair accessible equipment. So it'll be a rubberized pathway that will be going in hopefully over the next few weeks. We're also looking to add a covered shelter. That's been more feedback that we've received that they want a place to eat under while they're there watching their children. So hopefully we'll have that in the budget. I have the quote back for the pathways. We can afford that. Um, we'll see about the, the cover area as we're working on that step. And we communicate that back to Angela and... I know Lauren was working on it. Okay, that. so she knows we're working on it. Yeah, good. And she's received other feedback as well. Just people good. being there and seeing children that were maybe having a difficult time getting on the equipment. Yeah, I'd love to have, as an element of our parks committee, um, uh, a uh, what's the term I heard it the other day? Um, Charles is doing it. Um, yeah, inclusive committee um, to make sure that, that we have somebody that's kind of giving uh, public oversight. Like the ADA compliance is great, they say it may meet it, but obviously, functionally, it's not working. Yeah, I mean, right. He can't get his wheelchair through, so that doesn't help anybody. So. Right. But we're aware of this, you know, trying to solve it. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad that she's helping us. So we make the combination because the ADA uh, people in ADA were feeling ostracized. Well, it was a grant that we received to do new playground equipment, and we wanted it all together. Um, it, I don't know if you read the letter; it might have been before you were on council. It, it brought us all the tears, where uh, a sister couldn't pay, play with her brother on the same equipment, and it just broke her heart. And so that's why we've gone to every playground should be accessible for children in our school. Um, so that's when we were going to do the new playground, we, we might as well move it to a new location and then move the other equipment with it. And we did talk with the family before we before we did all of that. Okay. Make and sure they've had, had, there was a group that raised some money as well. And, um, yes, and Byron Lake Foundation contributed yeah. to that yeah. as well. And it's been a, um, a long-standing goal of parks to, to try and make all of our parks um, accessible. So this is just kind of furthering that mission along. Are there, um, do we have any other accessible parks yet, or is this the first one? No. no there are, so Long Park is the first one that was, that's the one, the one that the letter came about. Um, and then there's also a handicap swing, um, now Pride Park. Yes, it is. And then um, we've had this at um, Byerly for several years. Anything else? Okay. Um, anything else for the manager? Hearing none items from the consent agenda will be received as information. Without objection, they stand approved. Moving into unfinished business, item six on our agenda is public hearing and final reading of ordinance 4358. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate your being here. Uh, ordinance 4358, approval of the lease a portion of the alleyway at 120 South 5th Street from Marriage Pool published. Approval of the lease a portion of alleyway at 120 South 5th Street from the Trust Company of South Carolina. Okay. You've heard the reading by title and presentation of Ordinance 4358. This time, the Chair will move to open the public hearing. If you would like to be heard on Ordinance 4358, if you would rise. Come to the front, state your name and address for the record. Please let your comments in two minutes or less. Hearing that there are none, the chair will close the public hearing 
and entertain any motion for approval of final reading and waiving of the complete reading. Mr. Mayor, I make a motion we have for this 43 PP8. There's a motion and second during discussion. Hearing and all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed by nay. The ayes carry. Item 7 on our agenda is public hearing and final reading of Ordinance 4359. The manager will publish. Ordinance authorizing the sale of tax not personal number 056093 004, located at 559 West Carolina Avenue, consisting of 1.1 acres. 1.81. 1.81. You've heard the reading by title and presentation of Ordinance 4359. This time, Chair, I'll move to open a public hearing. If you'd like to be heard on Ordinance 4359, if you'd rise, state your name and address for the record. Please come to the front and leave your comments for two minutes or less. And hearing that there are none, Chair, I'll move to close the public hearing and entertain any motions to adopt. Make a motion we pass on this 4359. Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing on all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed by nay. The ayes have it. Yep, the court. Um, moving on to new business. Item A, resolution 2 19 01, resolution for approval of Parksville Police Department to enter into a mutual aid agreement with the Chesterfield County Sheriff's Department. Is there a motion to adopt? Second. Any discussion? Hearing on all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by nay. The ayes have it. Item 9 on the agenda is first reading of ordinance 4360. The manager will publish. Authorizing ratifying the conveyance and transfer of certain real property and other matters relating thereto. Okay, you've heard a reading by title and presentation of ordinance 4360. At this time, the chair will entertain a motion to adopt. Make a motion to pass ordinance 4360. Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by nay. The ayes have it. Item 10 on the agenda is the first reading of ordinance 4361 of the manager will publish. Ordinance to authorize the sale of tax not parcel number 057030100105 at 120 West Washington Street, consisting of 0.769 acres to Darlington County Habitat for Humanity. Okay, you've heard the reading by title and presentation of ordinance 4361. Chair will entertain a motion to adopt. Is, is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 By nay. The ayes have it. Item 11 on the agenda is first reading of ordinance 4362. Commander will publish. To annex an approximately one acre parcel of land, tax not number 057080100, located at 1300 South 4th Street in the city of Minnesota. Okay, you've heard the ring by time of the presentation of ordinance 4362. Make a motion to adopt. Make a motion to adopt uh, ordinance 4362. Second. Is there anyone that wanted to make a motion to adopt? Who's doing it? Joe, it's Mayor Pro Out there near the landmark, across the street from the landmark. Okay. Welsh and Bonds. Okay, I know where you're going now. There's a motion. I'm talking that, but I want to show. Second. Motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by nay. The ayes have it. Let the record reflect that the city is grown. One acre. That's good. Jim, if you'll just put growth, we don't need to get into numbers. <laughs> Item 12 on the agenda is a motion in our executive session pursuant to the South Carolina Code Freedom of Information Act, Section 30 4 7, Paragraph A, Subparagraph 1, for discussion of appointments to Housing Authority of the Art School Board. Is there such a motion? Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by nay. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll stand at five minute recess before we go into executive session. Go.